you have been applying for GRC jobs for three months. No interviews, no callbacks, nothing. You know why? because your resume looks like everyone else's. It says strong attention to detail and excellent communication skills and knowledge of security frameworks. Those are just words. Everyone says those things. Employers want to prove you can actually do the work, not just words. Now here's the good news. You can create that proof this weekend, like this weekend. No job required, no certifications required, just you, a computer, and two or three days. And I'm going to show you three projects you can complete this weekend that prove you can do GRC work. These are the same types of projects real GRC analysts do at their jobs. When you finish, you will have a portfolio. A portfolio is a collection of work that shows what you can do. Like an artist shows their paintings, right? You will show your GRC work. Most people applying for GRC jobs have no portfolio, zero. If you have a portfolio with three solid projects, you immediately stand out. I'm told up where my home and I've reviewed hundreds of GRC portfolios. The people with good portfolios get interviews. The people without portfolios get ignored. If you want to stop getting ignored, hit subscribe and let's build your portfolio right now. Now, let me give you your first memorable line now. A resume tells them what you say you can do. A portfolio shows them what you actually did. Policy writing is one of the most common GRC tasks. Policy tells people what they should and shouldn't do. Good policies are short, clear, and easy to follow. Bad policies are long, complicated, and everyone ignores them. Your weekend project now is to write one page acceptable use policy for a small company. What an acceptable use policy? It's a policy that tells employees how they can and can't use companies, computers, phones, and the internet. Now here's how you're going to do it. Step one, pick a company type. This takes 10 minutes. Choose something simple. A small doctor's office with 15 employees, local restaurant with 25 employees, a small online store with 10 employees. You're making this up, okay? It's practice. Pick something you understand. Step two, think about what could go wrong. This takes 20 minutes. What might employees do that could cause problems? Use work computers for personal stuff all day or install random software that might have viruses, share their password with co-workers, post bad things about the company on social media or open suspicious emails, write down eight to 10 things that could be problems. Step three, write simple rules. This takes 30 minutes. For each problem, write a simple rule. Let me give you an example. Problem is employees install random software. Rule, you must get approval from IT before installing new software on your work computer. See, this keeps viruses and malware off our systems. Let me give you another example. Problem is employees share passwords. This is the rule you're writing for that. Never share your password with anyone, including coworkers and managers. If someone needs access to something, we'll give them their own login. Write rules for your 8 to 10 problems, okay? Use simple words, keep each rule to 1 to 2 sentences plus a short explanation. Then step number 4, format it nicely. This takes 20 minutes. Put your rules into a document that looks professional. Include title like doctor's office acceptable use policy. Then add the date, write a short purpose statement like this policy explains how to use company technology safely and appropriately. Then add your eight to 10 rules, include a note about consequences like breaking these rules may result in loss of technology privileges or other consequences. Step five, save it as a PDF. This takes five minutes. Save your policy as a PDF with a clear name like acceptable use policy sample. The total time we have looked at now, about 90 minutes. What have you learned now? How to think about security problems, how to write clear rules, how to make professional documents. So the next thing is, how do you talk about this in interviews? I created a sample acceptable use policy for a small medical office. I identified common security risks like password sharing and unauthorized software, then wrote clear, simple rules employees could actually follow. This taught me how to translate security requirements into real policies. That's way better than saying I'm good at writing. Let me give you your second memorable line today. Anybody can say the right policies. 
but can you show one you wrote? That's the difference. Risk assessment is the most important GRC skill. It's listing what could go wrong, deciding how likely and how bad each thing is, then focusing on the biggest problems first. This is your weekend project. Do a risk assessment for a small business and this is how you're going to do it. Step one, pick your business. This takes again 10 minutes. Choose something simple. Let's use a small gym with 200 members as an example. Step number two, list what could go wrong. This takes maybe 45 minutes. Think about different categories. Technology risk, member data gets stolen from computer system, website goes down and people can't sign up, credit card processing system gets hacked, right? How about physical risk? Fire damages the building, someone breaks in and steals equipment, flood from burst pipe damages computers, then how about people risk? Employee accidentally emails member data to wrong person or employee steals money from cash register or member sues gym for injury. And then compliance risk. Gym doesn't follow health code rules or gym doesn't protect member payment data correctly or gym doesn't have proper safety inspections. Aim for 15 to 20 total risk across all these categories. Then step number three score each risk this takes about 60 minutes for each of the risk answer two questions how likely is this going to happen high means this will probably happen medium means this might happen and low means this probably won't happen then how bad would it be high means this will seriously hurt the business and close the gym medium means this would be bad but the business could recover low means this would be annoying but not a big deal so let me give you an example. Risk is member data gets stolen. Likelihood is medium because gym do get hacked, but not super often. Impact is high because gym could get fined, lose members, get sued. Priority is high risk and needs attention soon. Do this for all 15 to 20 risk. And then step number four, suggest fixes for the biggest risk. This takes around 45 minutes. For each high risk, suggest how to fix it or make it less likely. Let me give you an example. Risk is member data gets stolen, right? Fixes are use strong passwords and change them regularly. Encrypts the database where member info is stored. Don't store credit card numbers and let payment company handle it. Train staff on security basics and then have backups in case data is destroyed. You don't need perfect solutions, just reasonable ideas. And then step number five, make it look professional. See, this takes about 30 minutes. Create a document or a spreadsheet with a title like gym risk assessment. So write an introduction of one paragraph explaining what this is, okay? Make a table with columns for risk description, likelihood impact, priority, and suggested controls. Add a summary that lists the top five risks that need attention. Total time for this is about three hours. What have you learned? How to identify risk? how to prioritize what matters most, how to think about solutions. Now, how do you talk about this in interviews? Simple, say something like this. I conducted a risk assessment for a small fitness business. I identified 18 risks across technology, physical people, and compliance categories. I scored each risk based on likelihood and impact, then prioritized the top five risks and suggested practical controls like encryption, access controls, and staff training. You see, this shows you understand risk thinking, which is the core of GRC. Let me give you your third memorable line today. Risk assessment isn't about predicting the future, it's about being ready for it. GRC professionals need to learn from security incidents. When companies get hacked, we study what happened so we can prevent it from happening to our company. What is your weekend project on this? You know, I get a lot of messages from people asking how they can break into cybersecurity. It's tough, especially if you're like how I used to be, stuck in a job that doesn't pay enough or feeling like you've hit a wall. I get it. That is why I created something more than just these videos you're watching. Something structured, practical and focused on real action. It's called the 5 day cybersecurity job challenge. This isn't just content you binge and forget, we're talking hands-on learning, real skills, and daily guidance. Two hours a day for five days. It's all designed to push you from thinking about change to actually making it happen. Look, I love making these YouTube videos, but let's be honest. How many times have you watched a great video, thought, 
I'm going to do something about that. And then didn't. That is why this challenge is different. It's designed to be your support. Okay, we're not just learning, you're giving tasks, actionable steps every single day with live Q and A's where I personally help you avoid mistakes and learn the jobs that will change your life. Watching my videos is great, but if you want to go beyond watching, if you're ready to take real steps toward a $250,000 career a year, come join the challenge. The link is in the description below. You can't miss it. Now, enjoy the rest of this video, but don't forget to come back when you're ready to take that next step. What is your weekend project on this? Analyze a real security breach and write a report. Now, here's what you're going to do. Step one, find a breach to study. This should take about 20 minutes. So go to Google and search for data breach 2024 or 2025 or cyber attack news. Pick a breach that happened recently in the last one or two years. That has enough information available, right? And it's not too complicated. For instance, good examples are MGM Resort Bridge from 2023, right? LastPass Bridge from 2022, T-Mobile Bridge from 2023. Then step number two after that is to research what happened. This should take about 60 minutes. Read three to five news articles about the breach. Answer these questions, okay? What company got hacked? When did it happen? How many people were affected? What data was stolen? How did hackers get in? How did the company respond? What were the consequences? After these questions, take note. Write down the important fact in your own words, okay? Now, step number three, figure out what went wrong. This should take about 45 minutes. This is the most important part. Don't just say they got hacked. Explain why it happened. Usually, breaches happen because of weak passwords or no matter factor authentication or employees fell for phishing emails or software wasn't updated. Maybe no one was monitoring for suspicious activity or third party vendor had weak security. So based on your research, list three to five security failures that caused or enabled the breach. Now example for MGM, attacker called help desk and tricked them into resetting password. Multi factor authentication wasn't required for all accounts. Help desk staff wasn't trained to verify identity properly and systems were not separated. So one compromised account led to widespread access. So step number four now, suggest what should have been done. This takes about 45 minutes. For each security failure, suggest how it could have been prevented. Let me give you an example. Failure was help desk gave access without proper verification, right? Prevention now is require multiple forms of ID verification before password reset train help desk staff on social engineering tactics and then require manager approval for every sensitive account. Don't worry about being perfect. Just think logically about what would have helped. And then step number five, write your report. This should take about 60 minutes. Create a two to three page document with these sections, right? Executive summary with three to four sentences. The MGM resort bridge in September, 2023 affected 10 million guests. Attackers used social engineering to trick the help desk into resetting password. The breach cost MGM over $100 million in lost revenue and recovery costs. So what happened section? That's another one. That's a section that you describe the breach in simple words, include timeline, what data was stolen, how attackers got in. And then there's why it happened section. Okay. This is where you list three to five security failures. And then we also have what should have been done section. This is your prevention suggestions, okay? Lessons learned section has three to four key takeaways that any company could apply. Train employees to recognize social engineering, require strong identity verification, use multi-factor authentication, monitor for suspicious activity. Looking at what we have done now, the total time for this should be around about four hours. But these are things that you've learned. How to research security incident how to identify root causes, how to think about prevention, okay? How to write professional security analysis. And then how are you going to talk about this in interview? It's simple. I analyzed the 2023 MGM resort bridge where social engineering led to a $100 million incident. I researched what happened, identified the security control failures that enabled the breach, and then documented lessons learned that could help other organizations prevent similar attacks. This taught me how to learn from real incidents 
and apply those lessons to risk prevention. Simple. For this, your memorable line for this is that each breach is a lesson. Okay? Smart companies learn from other people's mistakes before they become their own. Now you have three projects, security policy, risk assessment, and bridge analysis. Here is how you're going to use them to get interviews. Because you might ask, okay, after all this, what's the usefulness? How do I use them? This is what you do and how you use them to get interviews. On your resume, add a project section where, you know, write GRC portfolio projects, then list security policy documents, all right, where you created acceptable use policy for small medical practice, translating HIPAA requirements into clear actionable guidelines for non-technical staff. Also, list risk assessment and management where you conducted comprehensive risk assessment for fitness business. Identify 18 risk prioritizing based on likelihood and impact and then recommending practical controls. You also list your security incident analysis where you analyze 2023 MGM resort breach, identified root cause security failures and documented prevention strategies applicable across industries. On LinkedIn, post about your project. Let me give you an example post. Say this weekend, I completed a GRC portfolio project analyzing the MGM resort bridge to identify security control failures and lesson learned, building practical skills while I search for my first GRC role. And then in your cover letters, you're going to write, while building my GRC skills, I've completed three portfolio projects demonstrating my ability to conduct risk assessment, develop risk policies, and analyze security incidents. See? I'll welcome the opportunity to share this example. Now, when you get to interviews and they ask you, do you have any experience? This is how you're going to reply them. I've completed three GRC projects to build practical skills. I have a risk assessment, a security policy, and a breach analysis I can show you. Would you like to see them? Then pull them up on your laptop and send them after the interview. I think the next question should be, where do you want to store your portfolio? So you have several options, okay? Option one. Create a simple website free on sites like Google Sites or Wix. Option two, store PDFs in Google Drive and share the link. Or option three, bring them on a USB drive or a laptop to interviews. These three weekend projects prove five important things. Number one, you understand GRC concepts. You know what policies, risk, and incident analysis are. Two, you can do the work, not just talk about it. You've actually done it. Three, you are serious. Most people just apply with a generic resume. You built something. Four, you can learn independently. You taught yourself enough to create this project. And five, you can communicate. Your projects are written clearly and professionally. That's what employers look for in entry-level candidates. Now, the investment that we're looking at here is that you have your entire time is just one weekend and it's totally about eight to 10 hours. And the money you spend is zero dollars. What's the return? A portfolio that separates you from 90% of other applicants who have nothing to show. So this is what you have to do right now. Block this weekend on your calendar. Pick which projects you will start with. S set a timer, okay? Set a timer, start. Don't wait for the perfect time because there won't be any perfect time. Don't wait until you feel ready. Just start. And by Monday, you will have your first portfolio projects done. By next weekend, you will have all three done. By next month, you'll be in interviews showing employers proof that you can do GRC work. The question is, will you actually do it? Yes. Let me give you a final memorable line. This weekend, you can either make excuses or make a portfolio. Only one gets you hired. If you're going to build your portfolio this weekend, subscribe for more practical content that helps you break into cybersecurity with action, not just information. In my usual manner, I hope I'm leaving you today better than I met you. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Watching videos like this is a great way to learn, but here's the thing. No matter how many videos you watch, it's the action you take afterward that really matters, right? That's why I created the 5 day cyber security job challenge. It's like these videos, but with structured and accountability. For 5 days, you get daily tasks personalized guidance from me and hands on skills that actually get you hired. So if you're ready to make cybers ready more than just something you watch on YouTube, check out the challenge in the description below.